Hello there. Today I'm going to be doing an install of a clutch pedal stop made by a company named Hyper Manufacturing. It's a very simple design made from billet aluminum, but is very effective. It's got a notch in it to go on the clutch pedal. has two Allen adjusting screws. 3 seconds is the size of the wrench you use. Then it has a bump stop that screws in and out with a jam nut. So you simply adjust it to the height you want. This comes into contact with a solid piece of the floor pan. You adjust it where you want, then run the jam nut down. The only tools needed for installation is a half inch open end wrench for the jam nut, three thirty second Allen wrench, and I like to use a tiny drop of blue Loctite on the Allen bolts. So here we go on to the installation. Okay, the installation is very simple. Simply slide, the, slide it up on the notch on the clutch pedal. I usually take the first screw, just barely snug it up, make sure it's where you want it because it needs to come in contact with a solid piece of the floor pan. If you want to adjust it, just loosen it up, slide it get to the position you want it. Go ahead and tighten them both down. Then you can go ahead and apply it and torque them down tight. Doesn't need a whole lot. Okay, from there, I'll make sure it comes in contact with a solid piece of the floor pan. Then Simply make your adjustment. If you want to shorten the pedal stroke, you screw it out. Run your jam nut down. Tighten it with your half inch wrench. As far as adjustment goes, you want to adjust it to where the clutch releases and travels just a little bit farther. You don't want any wasted movement above the floor. If you've got a clutch with a really short stroke, I usually screw it on out a good bit because you don't want if you're trying to avoid overthrowing your slave cylinder. Make it just kind of ease up into it. Don't overdo it. You can always just back it off and shorten the pedal a little bit at a time until it releases. Then you want to get just a tiny bit of, you want to release and a, tiny, and a little bit of travel more so you know it's good and released or adjust it to have whatever feels right. You have to kind of do it by feel. So once you've done that, get your nut where you want it, torque down the jam nut, and you're ready to go.